Um, so, Paul, in this episode, we're featuring Chinese food, and uh, this is a little bit close to heart, not just because it's Chinese food, but also because we are going to Suramban, my hometown, and also the gentleman that we're featuring is actually an Indian guy, right? And mm-hmm. his name is Sakti, and uh, Sakti was married to a, Mal- uh, a Malaysian Chinese woman. His wife passed away a few years ago, but he's had to learn how to cook some of the dishes that his children love so much, Chinese dishes. So we're going to feature a couple of recipes from Sakti. But apart from that, I think it's a great opportunity for us to showcase how diverse Malaysian Chinese cuisine is. So where are we going this time around? So we went to quite a few Chinese hotspots yeah. in Malaysia. So yeah. we went to Penang, Ipoh, Malacca, Malacca and Suramban. Suramban, obviously. Also, we're featuring different types of Chinese cuisine as well. Mm-hmm. So we've got Fu Chao cuisine, which is one of the dishes that Sakti is cooking. We've got Chakwe Tia, which is Teochew inspired. Mapo tofu, which is northern Chinese. Yeah. Uh, we got teochew chew duck. Yeah. Which we've also got coming. Yeah. Cantonese as well. Yeah, and yeah. Cantonese with the fried noodles. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys do. And catch you in the episode. Okay. Okay, so you want about three scoops of 
water in there, so about maybe about yeah. one and a half cups or so. No, 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 the seasoning. Okay, and then the seasoning, pepper, white pepper, chicken, chicken seasoning, chicken stock powder, soy sauce, soy sauce. Sugar, sugar, and, and salt. salt. Okay. Okay. Now we boil it. Okay. You just want to boil it. So once it comes to a boil, you just add the vegetables. Yeah. Okay. So just put the prawns back in. Okay. So if you don't need prawns, you can add other stuff in there like chicken or anything you like really. Yeah. Or beef. Beef, yeah. Beef's a good choice. So just stir that in very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, so once it thickens up, you can turn off the heat. And then you turn add the egg. Okay, just one egg is enough. So remember, you turn off the heat before you put in the egg, yeah? Okay. So how long? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so when you serve it, you just um, um, pour the sauce in gradually. Okay, sure. So the chopsticks stay in, stay on the dish. Okay, great. So this is it. Fei Ting Mi. Okay. It's a flying prawn noodles, Cantonese style. Thank you, yeah, Chef. Got all whole thing. Yeah, here, right? finally, yeah. Um, so you live in my hometown of Surambat, have you always lived here? Yeah, I think already it's about almost 30 years here. Oh, uh, okay. Where were you from originally? I'm from Kampa. Where's that? That's oh, where Ipo, Ipo, Ipo Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, Surambat is a nice cozy little yeah, place, right? Yeah, better than Kiel. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. Okay, so now, uh, what caught my attention about you, Sakti, is the fact that you cook Chinese food, right? Even though you're Indian. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are you cooking for us today? Okay, today is uh, something that my wife used to cook. It's called mi sua. Mi sua. Uh, mi sua. Okay. And mi sua is something that goes along with chicken soup. Okay. Uh, traditionally, she will cook it with chicken, boiled in uh, the pot for okay. at least three hours to get out the flavors. Oh, of the right. chicken. Okay, uh, sure. Let, well, let's show me what you have to do with the mi okay. The first thing is that you need to have chicken. Okay. Uh, I'm using chicken drumsticks. Okay, I noticed you removed the skin. Is yeah. that normal? Or? Yeah, because the chicken uh, tends to have a lot of oil. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. I have removed the fat, uh, part of the fat, and also the skin. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, we put it inside. Okay. Uh, then let it, let it boil for five minutes. I set sure. the timer for five. Okay, sure. This sure. So, oh, so you just got like, some uh, cold water uh, in there. So, you just took off this. The scum? Uh, scum. Okay. So, for any chicken, even if it's a live chicken, also, I still do this. Okay. Uh, so Interesting. Yeah. That's good practice. Yes. So, <laughs> so, you want the person who's eating it to enjoy it. Okay. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, all right. So, you notice that, all right, once you put it in this pot. Right. Okay. You don't put the mushroom in immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. You let it cook for. It's going to cook for three hours. Okay. For the first hour, uh, 
just let it cook okay. because there's still oil inside the chicken sure. Sure. so uh, the oil will come up and yeah. then you use the sieve to remove the oil okay sure. after the first uh, after the one hour is finished you still have two more hours then only you put the mushroom in that's very fussy <laughs> ah yeah <laughs> so, so now it has already cooked for we've moved removed the oil yeah yeah we add the mushrooms in okay okay and depending on you how you would like it if you if you put more mushrooms in the flavor tends to go towards okay. the mushroomy kind of flavor oh wow so this is after three hours uh, yes yes <laughs> so this you get something like this okay you Let notice that yeah. oh nice 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 okay uh, the first thing you do is you scoop up the soup first okay sure did you want me to turn this one on yeah please okay let's start with try to see what i have to do that okay now add in how much salt you want. The salt is well. Oh, okay. Uh, Let me just uh, go and get. Uh, oh, sorry. The soup, soup spoon is excited. Sorry. That's all right. I got it. Okay. So you only put uh, salt, salt in it. Salt, okay. Salt. Okay. Any? Do you, do you have a preference for what type of salt to you, you use? Um, I usually go with sea salt. Okay. I, sure. I find it much more tastier using okay. sea salt. Sure. <laughs> Mushroom. Okay. Do your daughters know how to cook? Uh, the eldest one has tried. Okay, and uh, what's the word? She has succeeded to a certain extent. <laughs> but then uh, gave up and said, you, you cook better. <laughs> uh, they're smart. <laughs> they know how to handle their father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to add a little bit of... Yeah, sure. So this is... Uh, uh, this, this is the rice wine. Rice wine. Chow rice, rice wine. Chow rice wine. Okay, okay uh, interesting, interesting. I don't think I've ever used that before, okay. either. Oh, alright. It's very different. Yeah. <laughs> so you might want to try it later on. Mm. Okay. okay, so while this is cooking, yep. this you have to be quick. Okay. Uh, you sure. don't have to be... So the only vegetable in this dish is the mushroom? Mushroom. Okay. Yeah. So, while it's hot, you want, want to put this in. Yep. And once this floats, you take it out okay. immediately. You don't keep it too long. Okay, sure, sure. See, already it's really coming up ready. Sure. It cooks very fast. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, okay, we're done. So is this like a typical Fu Chao dish? Yes. Okay. So it's very like kind of like very subtle, very healthy yes. sort of thing. Okay. My mother not told me it's supposed to be good for you. Okay. Good for me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll try it later on. Okay. So right. this is great. This is very interesting. Okay. So that's it. It's, that's that, just yes, how you yes, serve it yeah, up. Yeah, okay. Do you serve it with any chili or any no, nothing? No, nothing. Just like it's that. just like that. Ah. And uh, I have guests over. We've eaten and they've enjoyed it. Okay. Okay. Especially with the pepper. Okay. If people want to cook it at home and they only have a, an electric stove, you think they can do it okay or? Can, can. Okay. Okay. So the pan is still with the pan. This pan is right. Yeah. Where did you learn how to cook chocolate beer? Learned from the ex chef. Okay. Uh, in Ferrara uh, or in the United States? In the United States. Okay. 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 Yeah. Which hotel was it? Okay, this hotel. Nice, yeah. nice. So, City Tell made a champion chocolate yeah. from you. Oh, nice. So, okay, so. Very hot. Okay, so. 
So no matter how good our chocolate gel is, it will never be like yours, you know? So the sauce, you put together with the chili? Okay, sure. I, I grew up in Suramban, so the version of Takwe Kiao I knew was like the KL version, you know? Oh, and and yeah, they yeah. put a little bit of Hokkien Mee in it as well. Great. Do you ever cook it with duck egg or you just use chili? Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, can you explain what the boya is? Uh, the boya actually is a durian paste. Durian which paste. We keep and marinate uh, with salt for the one years. Okay. After that, we can make like a, a special spicy uh, sauce for cooking the. Oh, okay, oil. okay. So we start we need some oil. Maybe two small spoon. Okay. So this is a durian farm, is that right? Yeah, correct. Okay. And you cook dishes using durian as well? Yeah. Okay. We do some of the dish using durian. Sure. And uh, some pizza also. We do durian also. Pizza, did you say? Yeah, correct. Okay. Do you use uh, fresh durian or do you use tempoya? Fresh durian. Okay, okay, sure. Nice. So this is 100 grams of your tempoya. Okay, sure. And do you use a particular type of durian? Like do you use young durian or, or, or uh, ripe durian or anything? The ripe durian. Ripe durian. From our farm. Okay. Oh, I can smell so, it now. Yeah. So by looking. So sure. For that, we can put some coconut oil. Coconut this is water. Like 750 grams. Okay. Coconut oil. Coconut water, sorry. Nice. Wow. I know of like uh, the tempoyak the with ikan pati. Yeah, uh, tempoyak. Yeah, I've never seen this one but before. But mm, like the... Uh, ikan pati, okay. I <laughs> mean, I mean fresh one. Okay, okay, so you use uh, the, uh, the prawns. Yeah. Mm. Sorry? Yeah, it's a yeah, catfish. catfish, yeah. Cool. Okay, what sort of flour do you use? Potato starch. Oh, potato starch, yeah. gotcha. Sure. Do you use coconut water to do a lot of your cooking? No. Is it good? No? Only, oh, only this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea though. Have you always cooked with tempoyak or only? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. When you were growing up, did you eat a lot of the boya? My no. mum <laughs> always bring me go to eat the boya. Oh, is that right? Right. Cool, cool. I never ate it. Like, uh, I grew, I grew up in Malaysia too. I never had the boya until I grew up.
of salt, a little bit of sugar. Okay, sure. Wow. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at the Alcazon. The Bancari, yeah. Wow. Can you boil for three minutes? That should be okay. Fantastic. That looks fantastic. Well, thank you so much for this, yeah, uh, Mr. Tai. And this place is called Dobem. 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 And can you tell us what it means, Dobem? Uh, a beautiful farm. Beautiful farm. What language is Dobem? Uh, Portugal. Portugal. Ah, oh, I did not know that. I was because <laughs> I know some Chinese dialects and a little bit of Malay and it's like Dobem. What's Dobem? Oh, right. So it's Portuguese influence. Do you have any Portuguese items on your menu? No. Okay. <laughs> That's durian. Okay. Durian. Sounds good to me. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Thai. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we look forward to eating this. Yeah. Okay. See you. I'll see you. Just one minute. Okay, no worries. That's the garlic. 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 And uh, garlic. Garlic. Uh, this is a uh, plain flour. This is uh, cake. Cake flour. Cake, cake flour. Cake yeah. flour. Okay. Cool. And this one is. Cake flour. Okay. So different. 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 Okay. Sure. What's French called? Oh, yeah, the joy is okay. okay. What's the Hakka? Hakka garlic. This one is Hakka. Hakka one. Yeah. The flavor is Hakka. Okay. Well, so they're frying the... So nobody here speaks Hakka except me. Uh, Yeah, You're making uh, mapo tofu, yeah. right? And you're using chicken. Yes. Cool. cool. Uh, traditionally, mapo tofu you cook with pork. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can use beef, any sure. type of minced uh, pork you want. Sure. It's just a different flavoring sure. to it. So, how I cook it is uh, uh, for mapo tofu, the one that I bought in the packaging, this has got a little bit of uh, smell. 
and what <laughs> we do is we usually put it in hot water okay so this is like what they would call like uh, just regular tofu. regular tofu yeah, regular yeah, tofu. Sure. it comes in the packaging in the sure. market you can buy it sure uh, so we put it in to remove the smell and also to firm it up oh uh, right okay up. interesting uh, so we leave it here for a while uh, okay while waiting for that to firm up uh, we fry the minced chicken sure because it's a non-stick pan, you don't have to use that much oil. Yeah, good point. Okay, once the oil is hot enough, okay. you put in. Sure. And put in the three tablespoons, sure. okay, maybe four. Okay. okay. Up to you. Sure. So, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Now, speaking of spicy, uh, we generally assume that Indians like hot spicy food. Is that the case with you? No? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of oil. Sure. How much garlic? Uh, I'm a one, one person who goes with more garlic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you? Yeah. Okay. Is this okay? Okay. What's that one? This is what we call dobanjang. Oh, is it that's uh, yes. like similar to the Korean go, uh, uh, gochujang. gochujang. Uh, so we use this for bapo tofu. Okay, sure. It's actually fermented like uh, beans. Beans. Right. Okay, you can add the ginger in. Okay. You can, you can put two tablespoons. Okay. Are there like different brands of this? Yes. That, do you have a preference uh, or? I, I, I prefer Lee Kam Ki. Okay. Uh, they, are, they are the better brand. Sure, sure. Okay. No, uh, this one here. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. We use a teaspoon, lemon skin. Okay, it's okay. Or you go buy any. Yeah. <laughs> that should be enough, you think? Well cooked. <coughs> Throw in the, the chicken. Chicken, yes. Okay, cool. So if you can't get this, can you just use like ground bean paste and Oh, you can use the Korean paste also. Okay, yeah, you can use the Korean uh, paste. Uh, yeah, it's still the sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, after this, you want to add... Okay, you can add water. Yeah. You can add chicken stock. Okay. Uh, up to you, your sure. preference. Okay. So I'm adding water because I want to see the numbness of the topan jam. Sure. I don't want the chicken to overpower the numbness. Okay. So what sort of uh, starch do you use? Yeah? Cornstarch. Cornstarch uh, with a little bit of water? Yes. Sure. The slurry is to bind the, sure, the flavors together, flavors, uh, yeah. together and sure. to get the mince meat to stick to the tofu. Gotcha. Uh, ready or not yet? Then you can use it. So you put it in small amounts. Okay. I can smell the citron pepper on. <laughs> I think you put in a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Still, that can't be a bad thing. Just a little bit. Mmm, nice. Can really taste the peppercorn. peppercorn. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I know. But it's good though. I, I, I was not sure whether you have to pick the numbness of the peppercorn. No, it's great. But she just went great straight ahead. <laughs> it's great. It's great. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you so much, Saki. We're yeah. going to sit down and eat this. Okay, sure, sure, okay. sure. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So, how long does it take to fry it? 
Um, Try two minutes. Twenty minutes. Ah, yeah. So you fry the whole thing in the in a deep fryer in a. No, in, uh, inside the oil. Okay. Ah, sure. Okay. Which one is more popular, the the chick uh, roast chicken rice or the the normal one? Yeah, no, this one first. This one is more Sit popular. Yeah, roast <laughs> chicken one. Yeah. How many pieces? How many like how many plates of the chicken uh, rice? Twelve. And you do duck also? Ah uh, yes. This okay. one is uh, from uh, Chinese Teochew. Okay. Are you Teochew? Uh, yes, I'm yeah, a from family Teochew. Okay. So this duck is uh, different. It's not the it's not the roasted duck. This okay. one is the steamed duck. Okay. Chinese is say raw. Yeah, raw. Ah yeah yeah. yeah. Sure. So this one is a different. Okay. Uh, but the, the the chicken rice is Hainanese. Is that right? Ah, yeah. The chicken rice is a Hainan chicken rice. Hainan chicken rice. Ah. The duck is Teochew. Ah, so now I want to cook the duck. Okay. Okay. Sure. sure. And what do you serve the duck with? You serve it with rice or with noodles? Ah, uh, rice and porridge. And porridge. Ah, yeah. Like congee. Ah, right. Interesting. <coughs> So do you speak Teochew or you speak Hokkien? Okay. Also can speak Teochew. Okay. I can speak Teochew, Hokkien, Cantonese, Mandarin. Oh, oh. Ah, yes. <laughs> the tradition, traditional that's a Hainan chicken rice. This a roast. Uh, it's not the roasted one. Yeah, it's a thin one. Okay, yeah. so this is the traditional one. Ah, yes. Groups, you know how the Hokkien food is a bit different. The ah, all Hainanese different. food is a bit ah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All different. This one, is a bit different. this one is from Hainan one. Yeah. This one's about the Teochew one. Yeah. And this one, uh, all can mix up. This one is what? Sorry, all mix. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Chinese also got, Hokkien also got. Uh, yeah. I think the Malays like the roast chicken a lot. Ah yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. There's a different. Yeah, yeah. Usually when I go and eat chicken rice at a Malay store, they do the roast chicken rice. Ah yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that sesame oil? Yes, the sesame oil. My favorite. And then this one, the your special sauce. Ah yes, my special sauce. And then this one is a special sauce. Beautiful. So that we are don't put the oil, just put a special sauce on it. Then the sweet one. This, is that the sauce that you use to cook the duck in or separate? Uh, the duck. Yeah. When you when you cook the duck, do you use that sauce to cook it with or? Oh, different. Different. Okay. different. Okay. Wow, beautiful. Yes. Put some sauce. So. There you go, beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. <laughs> that looks fantastic.